Hi, uh, Steve Pisano, PRMA San Antonio. Uh, today we're going to go over some commonly asked uh, questions uh, that patients want to know. One of them is about the skin island that is associated with our tissue transplant reconstructions. For example, the DIEP flap, or we say deep flap. Very often there's an island of skin, maybe out to the side, sometimes in the lower breast, uh, that is present uh, right after the initial DIEP flap procedure. And patients want to know what this is. And when we do these procedures, we need to be able to monitor the flap, we call it a flap, after we've moved it into its new location on the chest. And that skin island gives us a way to monitor the flap. If the skin looks good, has good color, and we say capillary refill, push on it, it's got a blanch and then a nice blush of pink, then we know that the flap is doing well. In addition to that clinical monitoring, we put an oxygen sensor on this island of skin, and that goes to a computer, which in turn goes to an app on our phone, and that enables us to monitor the flap for the few days that you're in the hospital after the procedure. Sometimes we need the skin island to help with the overall shaping of the breast. Sometimes it's actually more favorable to keep the skin island either out to the side or again down low. Uh, and in that case, uh, we adjust the skin island size maybe or configuration so that we end up with a nice overall breast shape. Now, after the initial procedure, we do a revision three or four months later and patients want to know, well, what will happen to that island of skin? Most commonly, that island of skin is removed because we no longer need it for flat monitoring. But sometimes it's actually better to keep that island of skin because it will uh, create an overall shape to the breast that is, is more favorable. In addition, in patients who are not able to save the nipple and areola, that circular area or oval area will get replaced by skin from your tummy. And that will keep in that second procedure. We'll make a new nipple out of that skin. Using that skin that's there, we'll draw a pattern, we'll cut that pattern and we fold and sew and work from two dimensions into three. And then after that, that island of skin can undergo tattooing to give the color. And some patients don't want to build the physical nipple and they'll just have a three-dimensional tattooing. So again, that island of skin proves useful to replace the native nipple areola. So hopefully this helps clear up some questions about the need for the skin island and what role it plays after the initial flap transplant.